everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kate and if you're not, thank you for clicking on another video. So today, as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my fully furnished apartment tour. So if you guys are new here, I've recently moved to Raleigh. I can link all of our moving vlogs and our empty apartment tour and all of that good stuff. And we moved here on April 1st. So today is actually June 1st. I'm filming this in the morning before work. So we've officially been living here for a full two months now. So, so I wouldn't say this place is like completely furnished to my liking. I would say maybe we're missing like one or two things, but to be honest, this is not like a permanent situation. We're just living here for a couple months to a year until we ultimately find a house. So that is our goal. And this is kind of like our in-between apartment and house situation. But regardless, I think this apartment is still beautiful. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the links to everything I can find as well. So any decor that you may like or anything like that that catches your eye, I'll leave it in the comments below. But but yeah, welcome to the video. Subscribe if you guys are new and let's just jump into it. Okay, so if you guys have seen my empty apartment tour, this will be a little bit familiar to you guys. But when you start off, here is our door. This is our entrance to our apartment. It's black and I really just love like the contrasting in this apartment. There's a lot of like whites, grays and blacks and I think it all just goes so well together. So then when you first enter, we have like a little closet which has like our air conditioning and whatever stuff in there, it's locked so we can't use it for storage. And on on this side we have a little washer and dryer. So this is what it looks like. It's just stacked on top of each other, obviously just to help with the storage factor. This is a one bedroom apartment, so we need all the storage we can get. And these work really, really well. They're GE, I believe, yeah. And yeah, they're amazing. They really do a good job with your clothes. So then if you turn to the left, this is what you guys will see. We have a little storage closet, which I will not open. It has shoes and vacuums and some of our bigger coats. So that's kind of our storage. Justin has his golf clubs out, so just ignore that. But we have this beautiful print here from Desenio. They sent them to me probably when we were living in Florida. And I think this is so beautiful and perfect for this little wall, which has nothing on it. We have a little trash can, which I actually think is really nice for a trash can. Um, and it is from Walmart. And then we have this little key holder that I think was so cheap from Walmart as well. And it's just perfect. So we have a little bit of organization going on within the apartment and we don't have to have like our keys everywhere. So I really like this little section. Then as you come into the apartment, this is the kitchen. So one thing I love about the kitchen is obviously the cabinets. They are like soft clothes and they have these beautiful black handles. They're super nice in a very unique color instead of the typical like white kitchen that you would normally find. And then obviously I love the quartz countertops. This was one of the things that sold me on this apartment was the fact that it has quartz like throughout the apartment and you guys will see the bathroom in a sec, but this is just absolutely stunning. It obviously is a little bit of a smaller kitchen, so you don't have a ton of storage, but I think for a one bedroom apartment, and especially if you live like on your own, this is definitely like more than enough storage that you would need. One thing I do love about the kitchen is it has this little display area. So you can make this obviously really cute and functional. So I kind of have some of our nicer like plates um, for serving from Crate and Barrel. So these are both Crate and Barrel. We have a little candle there, a little mini cheese board that is glass, a little plant from Ikea, and then just two of our stainless steel pans. So that's how I've chosen to decorate this. You can obviously go ahead and put in you know, really nice decorations, but considering I also needed it for storage, this worked out pretty well to be functional and cute at the same time. So here's another view of the kitchen. Again, I just absolutely love that the backsplash is also quartz. It's just so beautiful and like seamless. And the fact that it has lighting underneath the cabinets, I absolutely love that. And you can do that really easily as well. This already had it, but you can even go to Amazon and get lighting for underneath the cabinets. And I would definitely do that in our future house. I think it's just so nice and I feel like it makes the space feel more luxurious. So we have a pretty big sink as you guys can see. And then we tried to keep the counter somewhat minimal just because we do have a lot of stuff. <laughs> but we do have obviously our huge ginormous coffee machine. This thing is the best thing in our apartment. I swear we use this multiple times a day. It's the Bravel Coffee Maker. I'll have it linked below, but truly we used to have the Nespresso before this and this is an absolute game changer. It is not only just like stunning to look at, but the coffee it makes is truly so, so nice. 
What I love is that obviously you can grind your own beans, so it's super fresh. You can use any beans that you want compared to like an espresso, and it's super cheap as well. It costs us around 30 cents just to make one cup of coffee. So even though this is a little bit more of an expensive machine, the fact that we can make coffee so cheap, it kind of makes up for itself in a very short amount of time. But absolutely love this and would highly recommend getting one or saving up for one because I promise you it's so worth it. We've had this for almost a year now. So then last thing in the kitchen, we have some more storage on our island. This is kind of just where we keep like our blender and toaster and stuff like that. But it is nice to just have a little bit more storage in the apartment. So then when you continue on from the kitchen, we obviously have our living area. My husband and I obviously both work from home, so the setup is definitely not ideal to be back to back, but it's kind of what we have to work with, with our couch being so large. Um, but yeah, let me show you my little work from home station. So again, I will have everything linked, but firstly, starting off with this standing desk. This is from FlexiSpot. I got it off Amazon and it is truly so amazing. It's so easy to use. Just kind of press it up if you need to stand up. And then if you need to sit down, very easy to do, pretty self-explanatory, but, but I absolutely love this desk. It was around $200, which I think is really good for a nice standing desk. You can get some that are like $500 and I think this is definitely a nice affordable desk but as you can see it is still absolutely massive like the space I have on this desk is insane and I truly love it. So then for the rest of the desk I just have this little mat just to help with my mouse moving. I obviously have the Apple keyboard and mouse. I absolutely love these things. They obviously are a little bit expensive but I also have my old keyboard I believe and mouse linked below when I used to have a when I used to have like a PC instead of a Mac, but obviously these are very aesthetically pleasing and it goes with the desk and everything. Then obviously I have just my work computer, which is just a Mac and it has this little stand. That way I can have two screens if I'm working or I can have someone up here if I'm having a meeting and then have the screen to work on, which I really like. So it also just helps with storage because this keeps it a little bit higher and you could definitely store stuff under here. Then I have my monitor, which I really like. It's $200, which I think is pretty good for a monitor and it's very sleek and I feel like it totally goes with this desk. It obviously is super minimal right here. And then what I do love is that the back of it is white. So if you ever did see the back, it is really beautiful and just white. The white and silver obviously goes with the rest of the desk here. So I think all in all, it goes together really well. And it's a very cute monitor if I do say so myself. I think it's from LG and I'll have it linked as well. So then my husband has the same standing desk as me. He got one uh, a couple weeks ago after you know having mine for so long, he really felt like he needed to invest. So he has the exact same desk that I have. The only difference is that his has the wood top, which I actually really like because it does have the white legs and the wood top. And I think it's really pretty and adds some nice contrast, but I'm not gonna show you his desk. His desk is super messy um, and it's his space, but I do love his standing desk. I'll have it linked below as well. Here is the rest of the living room. This couch is insanely big. It is gonna be so great when we eventually have a house. Like it takes up so much of our apartment and but I truly absolutely love it. This is from Living Spaces. It was a little bit on the expensive side, or at least I think it was a little expensive. It was $3,000 and it is in three different sections. So there's this section, the corner, and then the little chase. And this is the Utopia couch from Living Spaces, which I feel like is pretty popular, but with the whole like supply chain shortages and everything, this was kind of what we were left with for options. But to be honest, I actually think this was a really good investment and we've probably had this for maybe almost a month now, and I would say I really do like it. You can unzip the cushions, they're very easy to wash. I've already had to wash them because we do have a dog, but they come out really great. And it's also extremely comfortable to sit on. This color is in the fabric Merit Dove, so it's just a really light gray, but I think it's really beautiful. This couch really doesn't need to be fluffed, which I really like, and it kind of has that look of a cloud couch, and this is what it looks like without me fluffing it, so you can see like we've definitely been sitting on it, but because of the fact that it has, I think, down inside, but the fact that it has 
foam on the outer side means that you don't have to fluff it as much as a traditional cloud couch. So I think that's really great if you have kids or something and you don't wanna to have to fluff this like every two seconds, but I would definitely say this couch was 100% worth it. So then this painting over here, I definitely think this is a little bit small for the space because I feel like it's kind of small compared to the couch, but again, it wasn't something that I was looking to invest in since I know we will eventually be moving. This was actually a DIY project, so please Please don't come at me if you don't like this. Um, it was originally one of those Ikea paintings that had Paris on it. I feel like everyone had that and I absolutely hated it. So I actually DIY'd it and just painted over it and then put some, like, I forget what this is, but this is what it looks like up close. But definitely not the best DIY project, uh, but for the space, it's definitely a little bit more neutral and definitely lightens up the space compared to that dark Paris print, if you've ever seen that. So then definitely one of the things that sold us on the apartment was these large windows. This obviously just brings in so much light in the morning and then in the evening as well, but I just think these are so stunning and I just absolutely love being able to see out and we have just a gorgeous view. So <laughs> don't mind Justin's shoes there. He <laughs> washed them this morning and they're drying but that is definitely one of the things that sold us. And we do have floor to ceiling windows in our bedroom as well, which you'll see in a second. So then next up, we just have our little TV stand. This is from Ikea, we've had it forever. I think it is just great value for money because I think it was only around 100 or $130. We have it for definitely a ton of storage here. We have some of our Christmas decorations in there, board games, all of that stuff. And then obviously just our TV here. So obviously it is kind of a tight fit just because our couch takes up so much space, but again, this is what we are working with. So then for the rest of the space, we have our bathroom on the right side and our bedroom on the left side. We used to have a full length mirror that was here. You'll see Honey walking in in a second. Um, but Honey did destroy that. It completely crashed down. So unfortunately you do just see the, what is this, the electrical panel, Jay? What? The electrical panel? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the electrical panel and yeah, unfortunately that's how it is. But again, since this is an our forever space, I didn't feel the need to go and buy another mirror for her to potentially <laughs> knock down again. So then we have our bathroom over here. Again, this is probably what sold me the most uh, was the bathroom. And then again, the quartz countertops in the kitchen. This is so stunning. I love that the mirror has this like backlit area. I think it's so perfect for putting on makeup. Um, and just doing your skincare and everything, but it's truly so beautiful. So then another thing I love is the cabinets. They are floating under here, which I think is really cool. And again, they're that same gray color and they just have these like little pull out drawers. And it does have a lot of storage for a bathroom, which I really like as well. So, so we can store our towels and linens all over here and definitely a ton of storage again for two people in a bathroom. So then my favorite part is obviously the quartz shower. This thing is just so stunning and just amazing to take a shower and I love that it is glass doors. It's actually very easy to keep clean and it's, oh my gosh, just like having a shower in here is almost like a spa experience in my mind compared to what we used to have at our old apartment. But I think this is honestly so beautiful and it is a very large shower which is another perk as well. Then for some decor, we do have this little canvas print. This I got from Target years ago, so I seriously doubt you can get this anymore, but I already had this and I kind of just figured this fit perfectly in the space. And I think it does just add a little bit of color to a bathroom that is so like white and gray. So I do like that as well. So then coming out of the bathroom, we just have our bedroom. This is obviously the final space in the apartment. This is probably one of my favorite areas, I think just because it's one of the more decorated areas Areas, but please excuse the fact that we are supposed to have two paintings. They're like a matching set again from Desenio, but one fell down and yeah, we have yet to put it back up. And I promise that we will at some point this week, but I couldn't delay this video anymore because we simply were just not putting it up. So it definitely wasn't a priority for us. But anyway, so this is the rest of the bedroom. So I absolutely love the sheets. We've had these for a while, definitely at least like a year and a half and they've held up really well. They're from Casaluna um, from Target and they're just 
so soft. This linen set is amazing. So I would highly recommend this. And then we have the matching little Euro pillows as well. And then for bedside tables, we just have these from Ikea. They're the Melm set. I feel like everyone has these, but they do fit a lot and they are, you know, quite narrow, which I think is nice when you have a slightly smaller bedroom. And then these lamps I absolutely love. They are from Target. They were pretty affordable as well, probably around $25, but I really do love them. And I think they go really well in the space. And then probably my favorite thing about the bedroom is our faux olive tree. You can get this from Home Depot, Amazon, um, and Lowe's, but it is the Nearly Natural Faux Olive Tree. I think it was around $100, but I truly love this. And I feel like this just, it just makes this space so much more zen and I really love it. It's so beautiful. So then over on the side, we don't have too much decor. We just have this mirror from Target and then the Melm uh, dresser from Ikea. We haven't really decorated this space and then our laundry basket, which is also from Ikea, but it just serves its purpose as some storage for like our pajamas and workout sets and stuff like that. And then we do have a double closet over here. This is a walk-in closet. It does have a lot of storage, which I really do like. And we're able to keep both of our clothes in here and it does have a light switch as well which is really nice this is definitely not organized so i won't really show you really quick but point being there is a ton of storage in here so we can fit a lot but yeah that is everything for a fully furnished apartment tour it definitely is a lot nicer than when you guys lost all the space especially because we have the couch now which we were waiting on for definitely a couple months um but highly worth the wait i really do like that couch and again like i said like the bedroom is definitely one of my favorite things the fact that we have linen sheets and the faux olive tree i think it just all goes so well together and it makes me feel very relaxed which is what i love in a bedroom i want to come into a bedroom and feel relaxed like i can go right to sleep and not be stressed out by i don't know clutter and things like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little fully furnished apartment tour. I know you guys have been waiting for me to film this. I've had a lot of requests, but I hope you enjoyed this. And again, I will try and link everything that I can find, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.